everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to fussy cut using Cricut. I have a Cricut Explore Air 2 and we are going to be using Design Space, uh, the Cricut software, to cut our fussy cuts. So to start with, we're going to open up our Cricut machine and then turn on the power. And then I like to set mine to custom because I'm going to choose my materials. And then mine is also blinking because I'm going to be loading it, but yours probably won't be blinking yet. <laughs> so go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. And we're going to go up here to the right corner and choose New Project. Okay, and then we're going to upload our image. So click Upload. And it gives you a choice of old things that you've uploaded, but we're going to upload a new image. And you can see over here the different file types. If you need to convert a PDF to a JPEG, I'll put a link down below for how you can do that. But go ahead and browse for the item that you want. And we're gonna be using our My Craft Room Fussy Cuts today. And then we're gonna choose Complex and Continue. And we're gonna be erasing the white space on our image. So I'm going to zoom in. And if you scroll down on the left here, you can see there are more options. And this gives you a color tolerance that you can adjust. And if you take the color tolerance down a little bit, it may help you um, to have a smoother cut. So we're going to just select this white space and erase it. And then look for any more white space that you want to erase from your fussy cut images and go ahead and do that. And then if you have other things you want to erase, there's actually an eraser over here on the left as well. And I'll scroll up and kind of show you up here. If you want to erase this part, you can just grab that erase tool and you can select the size of your eraser. I'm going to go ahead and just make it really big. And you can erase part of the image that you don't want to print. Okay, and we'll zoom out and things look good. So we're gonna apply and continue. And this is gonna be a print then cut image. And I'm gonna upload. You can also rename your image on the top right corner there if you want to. All right, so we're gonna get the newly uploaded image. Click on that and then go down here and add it to our canvas. And it takes just a minute. It's going to be kind of big when it first imports. And we're going to just um, drag it up to the corner here. And then up here, we're going to adjust the size. Make sure your lock is locked. And I'm going to bring it to about eight inches because that'll get us close to where I want it to be. And then I'll kind of adjust as I need to. And you can see up in this top corner, this little exclamation point, um, when it turns red, see if I can it means that your image is too big for the cuttable area so you want to shrink it down so that red exclamation point isn't there anymore there we go and we're gonna go ahead and make it and then this shows what it looks like on your mat and we're gonna go ahead and continue oh and before we do um, it does have an option to adjust your material size over here I think this is a newer feature um, but I'm going to just choose letter because that's the size that I'm going to be working with. And it also has this um, mirror option. If you click that, it will mirror the image. It'll flip it around. You can see it flipping there, but I don't want to flip mine, so I'm going to leave it alone. And then we're going to just continue. And then we're going to send this to our printer. And um, you can choose your printer from the drop down menu if you have like more than one printer. And you can also add bleed, but I don't like to do that. It gives it a little bit of a gray border and I don't need that. So I'm going to hit print. And then we got to choose our material. Um, if you're making stickers, a good option for a material is sticky note because um, I can do a kiss cut using sticky note. And that means I can peel the stickers off the paper. It's, it's kind of nice, but we're going to use medium cardstock for this. If you browse your materials, it gives you a bunch of options. It's got, you know, cardstock and it has canvas and all kinds of things. And um, I usually bookmark my favorites so I can go over here and click the bookmark and that will put them kind of at the top right here. And I'm going to choose medium cardstock. And 
and there we go, it's printed. So we're going to go ahead and put this on our Cricut mat. And don't feel like you have to get it perfectly aligned in the corner. It's, it's fine if you're just a little bit off because the Cricut will read the um, guidelines that it prints around the edges. So it should be able to figure out where to cut, even if it's not perfectly aligned in the corner. Okay, and once we have it kind of stuck down, we're gonna put it into our Cricut machine. And you wanna kind of snug, put it under these um, guides on the right and left side here, and then just kind of hold it snugly against the rollers and click the blinking arrow button. There we go. And then you can click the Cricut button and it will load it in. And if it looks like it's not loading correctly, like it's you know bunching up or something, you can hit that arrow button again and it'll eject the mat for you and you can start over. But then the sensor is going to find those guidelines and that'll help it to know where to cut. And you can kind of look to see if it's cutting correctly. If it looks like it's off, you can eject it hitting that arrow button again. And um, you may need to calibrate your Cricut machine. I've had to do that a few times. It, it'll walk you through that in design space, how to calibrate it. And then you can see, it'll tell you kind of how far along you are. It should take like maybe two or three minutes to cut a whole page of fussy cuts. And then when it's done, it'll kind of um, roll the mat out for you, just like this. And then the, the arrow button will blink and you can press that to eject it all the way. Okay, let's see how we did. Looks nice, it's cut around the border that we give our fussy cuts, it looks pretty good. So to um, peel it off, I like to flip my mat over and kind of roll it away from the paper. And the reason that we do this is because it keeps the fussy cuts from um, becoming rolled, you know, like curvy. <laughs> it helps keep them flat. So I'm gonna peel the outside off first and then take a look here, things look pretty good. So I'm going to do it again, just roll it away kind of lightly from the images and peel them off. Yeah, I think they look pretty cute. And when you're done, you'll have some pieces still stuck and they make tools for removing these pieces, but I usually just use my fingernail to kind of pop them off. And don't forget to replace your mat when it's not sticky anymore and your blades as well on your Cricut. And then don't forget to cover it back up with the uh, little like acetate sheet that'll keep it from getting dried out. Okay, so these are my craft room fussy cuts. Again, I'll put links down below if you like these. We have a whole collection that goes with this set. And I think they turned out great. If you want um, a tutorial for how to make stickers using your Cricut, I will put a link down below for that as well. But thank you for joining us. I hope you were able to learn how to use your Cricut a little bit better and we'll see you guys next time.